Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 105 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. I... I forgot to craft it at the end of the last one. Some great new stuff. Yes. Now we have even higher ranks of clay and wood and dirt. Well, and rock too. I guess I made one of those. Now I bought some high level rock for this and this. This first one I'm going to like a lot because it reduces the amount of SP it takes to use your skills. Although I don't really run out of SP anyway, I'll probably place it. And this one. It increases your... What's it? Herb gathering level and adds one every time you do an herb gathering. Yes. Yes. Sugida. Huh? Yeah, this didn't happen in my trial run. What do I do? Okay, so we built a library. Oh, I know. I bought the materials and then I forgot to make it in my trial run. Well, aside from his workshop and his own room, I've already wanted a place to keep all of these books, I guess. And also some place where other people could use. So gathering knowledge is fun and stuff. And probably the residents will enjoy it as well. Hmm, so now all we need to do is, in order to prevent thefts, select someone to watch over the place. Oh, so this kind of place stands. <laughs> uh, yes, building stand guy. So this guy says he hasn't really done much reading. Well, looking at you, I bet you're illiterate. But now that he has the opportunity, he says he'd like to try something. Well, I've always glad you look like you're going to enjoy it. Pretty soon it will be all ready and stuff. Yeah. That's it. That was lame. Hmm. Ah, oh, this is the one. Well, I told you about the reduced magic requirements, but it also gives you plus one to your defense. To your fortification, let's call it. And also plus point two to your darkness resistance. As if I'm ever going to get my darkness resistance up to this one. And the library. It says it's a plant library. Like library about plants. How weird. Anyway, it's here, so we can actually drop one of these others. Oh man, all this stuff. Well, I don't want to waste your precious time. So let's just put down another tree like I pulled up before. And our next important duty is to chase Guy Dal into his home base. So 
so, according to the information you got us, this is the place. So, this is the home of the Gaidal Company. Looking around, it's like poison swamps and... Kind of fitting with the way that he always dresses. There is just dripping with bad omen. Rosaline's wondering why that guy actually told us where he was be where he was. According to what she's heard, the Gaidal company has offices all over the place. If they wanted a one-sided battle, it was probably a possibility. Well, Mikshuana's gotten the impression that that guy is rational and realistic. Most likely, he came to the conclusion that the best way to attack us would be to draw us into his center of power. It's true that the Gwalakuna castle can pretty much run roughshod over anything when used as a weapon. And there are several people trying to get their hands on it. It's hard to assault, true, since it was made for defensive for made to be mobile and effective defensively. But since there's so many people looking after it, Gaidel probably doesn't want to bide his time on this in case somebody else happens to conquer the castle. So, there, his uh, objective was probably to draw us, the important people of the castle out here, kill us, at which point the effective manager of the, the castle will be gone and then he'll be able to take it. So, he did say that he was going to be prepared for us. Probably there's some kind of special traps awaiting. Well, to be the type of person to deliberately live in a place like this, it could be taken as proof that he is up to no good, so we should take care. Hmm. Say, Avaro, what are you doing spacing out over there? Uh, no, he was thinking maybe this was the place where he was born. Well, we don't see any residents here. Couldn't this be a place that there aren't any residents that cannot be lived in? But Gardal did say that this was his home, as it were. As a merchant or such, this would be a bad place to set up a home base otherwise. So while we're talking, we hear a familiar voice. <laughs> so he's projected an image of himself to talk to us. And he welcomes us to the reg to the residence of we the dark refiners, he says. Yeah, thanks for coming. So it'll be explained a little later, but Gaidal Company is one name for his be for this thing he's got put together. But he and the people running it call themselves the Dark Refiners. 
guy though. Tanoshin de Kreto Rishio. Kokoma donna ni hidoi basoka. Kamishime de Kretamai. So he's going to be happy if we enjoy it here. So, chew on just how cruel of a place this is. Together with that god that abandoned us. So I guess he's still basically only talking to Avaro. And refers to Fia here. Hmm. Well, with that he leaves. Gaido, son. The hell. All right, let's chase him down. Once we beat him up, it'll be over. There may be ambushes in wait. We should be careful as we proceed. So this isn't just against Gaidal himself, but also this organization he calls a company. Mm, that is true. So this is the enemy's home base. Don't let your guard down and let's get going. I think I've got three characters that are still level 29. One of them is Ranrin Yuki. Another is Kisnir. Man, I wish I could take back a few turns. I should have moved Avaro into a different space. Now these two aren't, strictly speaking, necessary. They're high enough level, but they're easy to explore with. Oops. Let's see some action! Hey, that girl was kind of cute. In a monstrous kind of way. Anyway, it didn't counterattack because its attack is physical and I here is immune to physical damage. Hmm. That reminds me of something. Uh, where was it? Yo got that rank up, but now she has remove as well. Let's remove that. What is it? Cooking one? It's actually a pretty bad skill. Man, that's a lot of enemies, isn't it? Now here we want to block a doorway just so that <laughs> Karin can take all the damage easily. Hmm. Man, I hope Rishu and Sayri can get there in time. Hmm. Fatigue potions. Small. Three of them. Some kind of black outfit. But also, I is going to be useful here because she has healing. And it's going to get messy. Uh, 
No. No, no, no. No. Do your little funny gift dance, guy. Hey, he did a pretty decent amount of damage. Oh crap. They're coming already. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't use the super attack, because then it would be dead and I wouldn't have captured it. Oh, that's right. Mercy ring for Fia, so she can do this. I need to turn off the battle animations. Capture. Animations off. Hey, I think that was a aquatic beast spin. I need one of those. For something or other. I'll remember later. Hmm? Okay, Mercy armlet for Risha and Silly so she can be in front and smack things. Hey, a gold treasure box. Oh, ah. How surprising. Now these guys are pretty serious about attacking. These are some pretty high level enemies they're throwing at us. Ah, uh, no. Now this guy has a ton of life, so I'll use... Ouch! Eighteen times two... Yeah, let's do it. There's a possibility that Ronin won't be able to finish it off. But... There's always next turn. Nope, she can do it. Another aquatic beast fin. Awesome. I only needed the one, though. You know what? Running Kiesner up there will put her in danger, so let's equip some better armor on her. And a capture rope. Oh man. Oops. Wrong one. Undo. Undo.
Okay, capture attack. <laughs> no, that was funny. Rishu and Sally got a counter on it, and then her attack, it got a counter on her. Hmm. This guy has a fire attack, so he can hurt you, but the other guys don't. Mm, no, you do too much damage now. Okay. Doesn't do nearly enough damage, but... Hey, that wasn't bad. No end. Oh, yeah, that's... Hmm. Kisnir should not fight against this character. At least not with the weapon she has equipped. Oh, uh, let's do it. Oh, he hasn't taken enough damage yet. Why do you have the Suima shield? Since Avaro's down here with no backup whatsoever, I'm going to equip good armor on him as well. This should do. It's been a while since I've equipped her with her non-elemental sword. But let's see, 15 times 2. Doesn't quite have enough kick. Here we go. Oh, excellent. Hey, white jewel. Probably a diamond. Well, hell. Best I forget, let's do the healing. Ooh, surprise! So, as we continue, here and there we do see structures that could be residences and workplaces. So, slowly it's starting to seem like people actually do live here. Ah, <laughs> Yep, there have been several 
handmade stuffs, uh, handmade devices here and there. Although it's hard to believe, it seems that this is actually a settlement. So, Gaidal actually lives here. It doesn't necessarily mean he lives there now. After all, he said it was his hometown. Nah, his hometown and place of origin, huh? Still, it's strange. Influ's kingdom is under the Fuchsia faith, right? It's odd for a place like this with so... a little human act human activity to be within influence. But no, this is actually outside of the Fuchsia Kingdom's territory. And the Fu... Did I say Fuchsia Kingdom? Influence Kingdom's territory. And the Fuchsia Faith has few effect, has little effect here. So, that's right. This place has been abandoned by them. They don't even bother a glance at it. So, butting into the conversation, again, Gaidal. Alright, Gaidal, what's the meaning of this? Don't tell me you're giving us a sightseeing tour here. Well, he wants us to know what kind of blood is... Well, perhaps we shouldn't say us. He wants Avaro to know. First, what kind of blood is flowing in him? And secondly, what the gods have subjected us to. Hmm. Blood, huh? The human part of Avaro. Exactly. Yes, in addition to being the Dark Refiner's residence, in the past this was the final destination of the war. Is that to say, after you started that insurrection against the gods, you decided to run away here to where the Fuchsia faith had few effects. <laughs> so, ah ha ha ha, do you actually think that we live here because we like it? It seems that Avaro has quite a peaceful head on his shoulders. Gaidal is now not so surprised that we weren't be able, able to become allies. So, these guys were chased out. Losing in the war, they were told to return to being livestock that offer prayers to the gods. But still, they weren't allowed to live in just any place where the light of the sun would reach them. So, the Fuchsia Faith chased you into this place. Well, being the losers, it's a sad thing. Our wishes and our hopes were dashed, and there was not one thing we could do about it. Well, those were days when they could only think about their hatred and revenge towards the gods. 
Look, it's not like you experienced the war directly. Without a direct reason to hate them, well, you shouldn't have any at all. Even if you do wish for the freedom of the human race and all. So, how long are you going to keep babbling like that, Alvaro? After all, you've seen this place. Eh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Since it's Avaro, and as a half-elf, he isn't really accepted by either the humans or the elves, perhaps he can imagine just a little what it's like here. So, getting receiving life in this world and our ancestors lost being branded upon us from birth. We could do nothing but live here, at least we were told, and we were forced to endure it. So they came to understand once they came of reasoning age that these rulers called gods have boxed them into this wasteland. So why do they resist the gods so much? If they would just accept believing in some god or other, they might be able to get out of here. So if we just accept believing in someone, we'll fall under their protection and end up with this twisted version of freedom. Is that it? Hey. So that's naive. There's no way that could happen. If you once turn your blade against them, you are their enemy forever. Even unto your descendants, you will always be chased out. Even now, the elves and the fuchsia of faith that they lead continue to watch over us and make sure we don't get out. <laughs> but even so, with various methods, they've been able to build up a good deal of power here. So, as a tribe that raised their blades against the gods, they're still being grouped together like that. Hmm. That way of la living sounds like a kind of brainwashing to Avaro. In any case, just being born into this family, you don't need to accept their way of doing things and walk the same path as them. If you made different decisions, then something different would happen. Avaro thinks that if you gave up these evil ambitions of yours, the Fuchsia Faith wouldn't have to watch over you like they do. Perhaps. But Gaidal thinks that his ancestors' thoughts and their actions were actually not mistaken.
どういった暮らしを送るのかも神を信じないということでさえ好きに決める So he says we should be free in believing in the place we live, how we choose to live our lives, and even if we choose not to believe in the gods, we, get to we should be able to decide that freely. <laughs> それでも誇りと血脈だけは保ち続けていた。So, we were chased into this place filled with monsters and beasts, and it falls under the purview of the great kingdom Belgarado. But still, they kept their pride and their bloodline alive all this time. いつの日か、人間族が自由を勝ち取る日を信じて。All the while believing that the day when humans would gain, win their freedom would come. So he spreads his arms out and calls attention to the scenery. This place is not suitable for people to be living. What with the poison swamps and stuff, and it's an abandoned wasteland. <laughs> もとよりきれいな道を歩むことは許されていないんだから。You can't simply decide your methods, he says. From the very beginning, we were not allowed to walk any beautiful path. 生涯をかけてでも、神を引きずり落とそうという考えが生まれても、仕方ないんじゃないかな。So it can't be helped that they might. Come to think about bringing down the gods no matter how much of their life it took. So that's why you decided to follow in your ancestors' footsteps. Look, it's kind of pitiful for you guys and all. But in order to accomplish your goals, you've also drawn in these people who weren't involved in it. You should stop fucking around. If you want your revenge, go ahead and do it. But at the very least, don't drag in the people who believe in gods and enjoy themselves doing so. Yeah,、uh, This has gotten Fia wound up a bit. So, hearing of Arl's words, she's had a flinching reaction. Okay. <laughs> No,、oh, well, Avaro can talk, can't he? This strong spirit he can converse about when in fact he actually knows so little about the world. That must be your charm point. So let's leave off for this time. And we'll talk about this residence of the Dark Refiners some more. Chill,、sure, boy. That bastard likes to hear himself talk. So, as near as I can tell, that particular scene triggers once you pass into this particular line within the map. Even though it was just you and he emptied, entered into an empty room. But anyway, I've been out it for a while, so this will be a first time I'm saving in the middle of a dungeon. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>